welcome back. Sorry I had to speed up there. All right, I want to talk back about this again real quick because it's just, I just, it should not be able to do this. It just should not be able to do this. I'm having a hard time believing this myself, and but I do believe it, but this is just, I just cannot describe. If you think about all these connections, there's just... I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Remember that this perfect side here looks like this perfect pyramid we have over here, almost matching perfectly at least this one side and these angles. I mean, that's almost a mirror image, okay? So we have the outside of the pyramid here, and then we have these two strange lines that run all the way. They're all three of these or all six of these, I should say, are emanating from the same place, okay? So if we want to read these as 11, 11, 11, okay, which is significant, why? Because they were gonna have this ritual at the pyramid in Giza, on the Giza Plateau. Well, supposedly they had that pyramid shut down today because of these supposed rituals well yeah right they shut down the pyramid so that they could have the rituals so they could be unabated performing these rituals inside so nonetheless we have the connection with the pyramid of the rituals that were supposed to happen on 11 11 11 11 11 11 or did and then we have what i said here which was this new world order now being turned upside down we have 13 letters okay if you count that there's 13 letters in new world order well we know that there are 13 crystal skulls that have been brought out today on 11 11 11 unreal unreal another connection now on my radio station today that I normally listen to when I work is FM 99 Okay, now, they said on the radio, because it was 11, 11, 11, they were going to be playing all heavy metal. And all of the heavy metal and songs that they end up playing were occult in nature. They were all death metal and satanic in nature. And it was just unreal that they chose to do that on 11, 11, 11. So with all of the other rituals that are going on and even trickling down even to my own little radio station, this symbol right here quite fits it quite perfectly. This is the symbol for Batman, which has done so much for us already, which has equated us back to New York City. Now this symbol is, who is Batman? Well, Batman, one of his epitaphs is the Prince of Darkness. Well, we also know who somebody else's epitaph is as being the Prince of Darkness. That would be Lucifer. So what have these rituals been about, at least, you know, from what people can gather from the information, that is to open some sort of portal to introduce or to bring about the introduction of Apollyon, the devil. Now, this may come as a surprise to some of you right now who are new with me. But if you go through my videos, it's inevitable that you'll find out Lucifer, Satan, and the devil are three separate individuals. They're three separate personalities. All right, now I've already gone over it with it to show you before in previous videos how the Bible points this out. But nonetheless, they are just like our Father, the Holy Ghost, and the Son, they form a trinity as one. Well, we also know that Lucifer is attempting to mimic the world of God and the doings of God, but in a material way, okay? So this Trinity aspect is a part of it. They are mirroring it. So that is why you see multiple things that for some people are contradiction in the Bible that claim Lucifer Satan and the devil in different instances and different characters. Well, this explains it. They are different characters. I'll be back.